A big shout out to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. In today's digital world, your personal information is constantly at risk. Hackers, ISPs, and even governments can track your every move online, but a VPN is a solution. A VPN hides your IP address and encrypts your internet connection, protecting your online activities from being viewed by third parties. The world's best VPN provider today is Private Internet Access, which has over 30 million downloads. It was established with the aim of offering individuals a secure and private online browsing experience. Picture this. Browsing online without private internet access is like writing a personal letter on a postcard for everyone to read, while using PIA is like sealing that letter in an envelope and sending it securely, ensuring only the intended recipient can access its contents. Also, are you tired of browsing the internet with restrictions, yearning for a world with unlimited possibilities? Guess what? The incredible Harry Potter series is missing from the US Netflix library. But fear not, with private internet access, a whole new streaming universe awaits. Just a click away, you can transport yourself to Netflix Japan or Netflix Australia. Unlock endless entertainment with PIA. Protect unlimited devices simultaneously with a single PIA subscription. For a limited time, sign up now to enjoy an incredible 83% discount on your subscription, plus get 4 months completely free. Don't miss out on this unbeatable deal. Take control of your streaming experience with private internet access. Let's check out the top 10 biggest and largest submarines of World War II based on displacement. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 10 on the list for the top 10 biggest submarines in World War II is the Type B-2 submarine. This was a class of submarines used by the Imperial Japanese Navy, comprising boats I-40, I-41, I-42, I-43, I-44, and I-45. Visually similar to the I-15 class on the outside, these submarines were constructed using high tensile strength steel and featured simpler design diesel engines. All boats of this class had a displacement of 2,624 tons on the surface and 3,700 tons when submerged. They had a length of 108.7 meters and a beam of 9.3 meters. The ninth biggest World War II submarine based on displacement is the Type B-3 submarine. This is a class of submarine in the Imperial Japanese Navy. The Type B-3 were the last of the Type B cruiser submarines to be built. Only three out of the intended 21 were constructed as focus shifted towards the Type E submarines. The submarines in this class, namely I-54, I-56 and I-58, had the capacity to carry one float plane. With a surface displacement of 2,174 tons and a submerged displacement of 3,747 tons, they measured approximately 108.7 meters in length and 9.3 meters in beam width. At number 8 is the V5 and V6. V5, known as Narwhal, and V6, known as Nautilus, shared similar appearances and dimensions with the submarine cruiser Argonaut. Nautilus was modified to carry 20,000 US gallons 76 liters of aviation gasoline, enabling it to refuel seaplanes at sea. Throughout their service, Narwhal completed 15 successful war patrols, while Nautilus completed 14. Together, they were credited with sinking 13 enemy ships, totaling 35,000 tons. Their substantial size also proved advantageous for covered missions, as they could transport troops and cargo. Both submarines featured a double-hull design, displacing 2,770 tons on the surface and 4,000 tons when submerged, with a length of 370 feet, or 110 meters. Up next at number 7 is the Type A-1 submarine. This class was a group of three aircraft-carrying cruiser submarines constructed for the Imperial Japanese Navy in the 1930s. They are I-9, I-10, and I-11. They were based on the J-3 class but featured improved range and enhanced aircraft installation. Additionally, they were equipped with advanced communication facilities, enabling them to serve as command ships for submarine groups. All three submarines participated in the Pacific War but were ultimately lost in action. With a displacement of 2,966 metric tons on the surface and 4,195 tons when submerged, 
they measured approximately 113.7 meters in length. At number six is the Type A2 submarine. It shared similarities with the earlier Type A1 submarine, except for having slighter weaker engines. As a result, the Type A2 had a lower speed when surfaced but enjoyed a longer operational range. Similar to the Type A1, this submarine was specifically designed to serve as a headquarters boat, effectively coordinating the activities of submarine squadrons. With a displacement of 2,967 tons on the surface and 4,217 tons when submerged, the Type A2 submarine measured 113.7 meters in length. Up next at number 5 is the V4. This was the first of the second generation of V-boats, commissioned in the late 1920s, which remained the largest non-nuclear submarines ever built by the United States. Designed primarily as mine layer, V-4 was the sole specialized submarine of its kind built by the U.S. It featured four torpedo tubes at the front and two mine-laying tubes at the rear. During its construction, V-4 was the largest submarine ever built in the U.S. and maintained this status in the U.S. Navy for an impressive three decades. With a displacement of approximately 4,228 tons and a length of 116 meters, V-4 stood as behemoth of its class. The fourth biggest submarine of World War II is the I-351 class submarine. This was a class of tanker transport submarines constructed for the Imperial Japanese Navy. Referred to as Senho-type submarines by the IJN, these submarines were initially intended to support flying boats in forward areas. However, by the time the first submarine was completed, this function was no longer necessary, leading to its conversion into a tanker. With a total length of 111 meters, these submarines had a displacement of 3,568 tons on the surface and 4,360 tons when submerged. Up next at number 3 is the Surkov. It held the distinction of being the largest submarine built until the Japanese I-400 class aircraft carrier submarine was introduced in 1944. Originally planned as the lead ship of a class of three submarine cruisers, only Surkov was completed. It was designed to serve as an underwater heavy cruiser, engaging in surface combat. The submarine featured a twin-gun turret equipped with 8-inch guns, the same caliber as those found on heavy cruisers, and was supplied with 60 rounds. When submerged, Surkov displaced 4,373 tons and measured 110 meters in length. At number 2 is the Type A3, also known as the Type AM submarine. This class was a pair of large aircraft carrying cruiser submarines built for the Imperial Japanese Navy. These submarines, which were based on the A2 class, had their command facilities replaced with an enlarged aircraft hangar capable of accommodating two IG M6A1 floatplane bombers. Although seven units were initially planned, only two, namely I-13 and I-14, were completed. Both submarines had a displacement of 3,661 tons on the surface and 4,838 tons when submerged. They measured 113.7 meters in length. At number one is the I-400 class submarine of the Imperial Japanese Navy. These were the largest submarines during World War II and retained that title until the development of nuclear ballistic missile submarines in the 1960s. Referred to as Sentoku-type submarines by the IGN, they were extraordinary submarine aircraft carriers, capable of carrying three Aichi M6A Seiron aircraft underwater to their destinations. The submarines were designed to surface, launch their planes, and swiftly dive again to avoid detection. Additionally, they carried torpedoes for close-range combat. The I-400 class submarines were specifically designed with an exceptional range, allowing them to travel anywhere in the world and return. The class included three boats, I-400, I-401, and I-402. When submerged, these ships displaced approximately 6,670 tons and had an impressive length of 122 meters. With this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos from the buzz.